So the abstract is about an investigator-sponsored trial uh, for primary metastinal large B-cell lymphoma for frontline management. And this is a study uh, that combines brentoximab velatine and nivolumab alone, and then combined with rituximab, cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, and prednisone. Um, and uh, patients are enrolled if they are recently diagnosed with primary metastinal large B-cell lymphoma. Um, they can be untreated or have received up to one cycle of standard of care therapy, such as RCHAP or REPAC. Uh, they need to be at least 18 years of age. And um, patients start with two cycles of the immunotherapy, brentoximab, aditine, and nivolumab, have a PET-CT, and then from the third cycle, receives the RCHP, which is RCHAP minus vancristine, for four to six cycles, and it's a PET-adapted study. So far, we have enrolled 11 patients, and the data um, are encouraging. Uh, with the immune leading only among nine evaluable patients, eight showed a response, uh, two showed a partial response, and six showed a complete metabolic response of just two cycles of brentoximab, aditine, and nivolumab. Uh, among the patients who could continue the study, so eight of them, um, all reached complete metabolic response after a total of four cycles and stayed in complete remission. So among those patients who stayed in the study, nobody had a relapse. Regarding adverse events, so um, the, the adverse events were expected for all the different drugs. Um, so uh, there has not been a concern about the accumulation of the different drugs. Um, so th the toxicities were expected um, so far, which has been um, um, more challenging was to, um, to, to uh, manage the, the immune-related adverse events. Um, most likely related to nivolumab. Uh, so there has been a mitigation strategy to add dexamethasone as a prophylaxis um, for each cycle uh, that didn't have chemotherapy. And this has been uh, successful at managing and preventing the immune-related adverse events. Um, regarding the impact of this study, so if successful, um, this study could allow to um, decrease the use of cytotoxic regimen for this young population that has a very good prognosis, um, decrease uh, potential long-term toxicities, and um, the cytotoxic regimen uh, can be a risk factor for secondary neoplasia, such as uh, acute myeloid leukemia. Um, uh, this study will use for patients who are early responders less chemotherapy, notably less doxorubicin, which can be a risk factor for cardiomyopathies. Um, and this study um, does not plan to use uh, radiation of the chest, uh, so which could avoid again like a late toxicity such as uh, increased risk of uh, uh, coronary artery disease, increased risk of um, um, synchrony manipulation such as lung cancer or breast cancer for female who had radiation. Um, the goal is so to decrease the toxicities, um, acute and long term, and as well to, if possible, improve the quality of life of patients. Um, again, um, patients who are young, um, as usually patients with primary metastinal large B cell lymphoma in their 30s or 40s, have uh, fortunately like decades ahead of them, and those patients tend to be more impacted by chemotherapy than like older population regarding uh, long-term uh, side effect about fatigue, notably an impact on the on the functioning.